Welcome. Hope everyone's doing good. Good. We're to continue our journey with this complex. Oh. Is there a way onto that road? Get out! Run! Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover, screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now, you have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Whoa. Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, Whoa. not entirely? That's I'm not a means. member of okay. collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Hey. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. Yes, let's invade the US, comrade. Hey. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space. 
You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to boast a man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter. Mars features low temperatures and oh, useful habitats. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Something. Oh, 
Aww. The music was sick. Stop with that poison shit. Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war, and now there will be another. No, uh, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sessionoff and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose you're right. A robotic glove. What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from collective? Depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from collective. And whoever sets collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill any more at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, armor, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect the collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. Crazy. I want a pet robot. <gasps> so what, because I turned that crank, did it open anything? Gotcha. Fuck, that was it. What the fuck is going on here? Hi. At ease. I gotta go play with them. Oh, these things again, really? Hey. 
capable of this kind of brutality. This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade Major. Make sure your ah, weakness you... for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Section up to calibrate you. Second one? Oh man. This one don't have a health though. Ooh, he don't like me. Place to be. Oh, okay, okay. There's a bump in music, bro. Seems like a music time. Give me that. Give me that. Isn't there another one? Where'd the other one go? another one. Maybe I'm just tripping out. Got a key? Yeah, I got a key. Hey, hey. Wait, why are you trying to climb these containers? Oh. Aha. Three. Jesus. I'm badass. Okay. Saw blades are thirsty. Sure, I'll take another elevator. Not gonna lie, I haven't used that scan thingy like this entire game. At least for what it's meant for. Oh! Thank you. Whoa, 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 fuck. Stop it. Damn it! 
there. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. Oh, oops. Where's the I trust these robots? Big boy. Oh. What's this place, Charles? A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where'd these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people with so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? But even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. Sometimes, these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes, the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now. I wonder if I can do uh major I got five of them. Fuck. How many does it take again? Twenty, Jesus Christ. A oh, lot of everything else. Is there anything I can upgrade here? Yeah. 
Pretty sure I maxed this so uh, Good. Oh, wait. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name P. Uh Major I need a shock. Alright. Fading data. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. If you want to join the damn family. Look in the description below for the link to the Discord. If you want to get the game for yourself, it's available on Xbox Game Pass, as well as on Steam, and the link to the Steam page is in the description as well. Till next time, my friends. Peace!